Domestic animals should be given proper shelter. Cows must be kept in sheds. Horses must be kept in stables. Hens must be kept in enclosures called coops. The homes of animals should be cleaned and washed every day. The utensils used to feed animals should be kept clean. There should be adequate moving space for animals. Animals should be given healthy food and clean drinking water. Cattle reared for milk and those animals which are used to do heavy work should be given a proper diet containing oil seed cakes, grains and cotton seeds. Dogs must be taken for a walk in the morning and the evening. Dogs must be given their shots or injections to protect them from diseases. If the animals fall sick, they should be taken to a veterinary doctor. Forests are an important natural resource. Deforestation is the destruction of forests due to natural or human-related causes. Due to deforestation, animals lose their homes, the amount of oxygen gets reduced in the air, and soil erosion increases. We should conserve the natural resources. Some of the famous Indian conservation programs are Van Mahotsav, Project Tiger, and the Chipko Movement. Van Mahotsav's aim is to restore the lost forest cover. It is celebrated throughout the country in the first week of July every year. The aim of Project Tiger is to identify and restore the natural habitats of tigers. It was launched in 1973. The Chipko movement was launched in the 1970s. It was aimed at preventing the cutting of trees in the Gadwal region in the Himalayas. This table shows us some famous sanctuaries in India. A sanctuary is a place where animals and birds breed and are protected. The government has set up national parks and sanctuaries where animals are protected. In India, there are over 660 protected areas which include wildlife sanctuaries and national parks. Many more sanctuaries are being planned to protect wildlife and prevent many species from dying out. A zoo is a place where animals live in an artificial habitat. They are protected and public can visit the zoo to view the animals and birds.